Hey everyone, it's John here from Hatagaki, back with another video. Dominic Kubelik, I think this guy is going to get traded. I, I think, you know what, a lot of people have talked about Matthew Joseph or Brandstrom, and I feel like I've been on that vibe a little bit, but just seeing how the Sens have played, uh, and they've been good, but I mean, as I'm making this video, they lost to Detroit uh, today 5-2, but they dominated a lot of that game. Kubelik's been, I don't want to say fully non-existent, but on paper, you could just look as far as that and just see he's got he's pointless through his first five games as a senator. And I think he's on that third line right now. I feel like a guy that's skilled like Kubelik, he probably shouldn't be there. He's more of like a supporting guy in the top six, usually. Um, he had 20 tucks last year. And I feel like there could be some teams that look at his cap it low enough and, and be intrigued to add him, change the scenery kind of thing. And I think there's really a scenario here where maybe they even attach like a mid-round pick just to create the space because teams know they're desperate just so they can sign Shane Pinto. I think Matthew Joseph has proven himself to be on this on this roster. He showed it in preseason. He showed it so far. And I do think Matthew Joseph is the guy um, that's going to stay at this point. He's got four points through five games. So you see right here, he's got two goals to show for us. Scored a pretty nice goal uh, the other night. And... I think overall, they like Matthew Joseph's role, whether he's on the second or third line. And I think even when, I mean, Ridley Greg's looked really good. Like for the Ottawa Senators, Greg has looked very, very good. And the fact that he's only 21 and they, they've they got a few of those guys at 21 and Jake Sanderson, Timmy Sutzla, uh, Ridley Greg, they're happy with those guys in the core and Shane Pinto right there being a younger guy as well. I think they're going to do everything they can over the next couple of weeks to get Pinto in here because I think it's proving costly not to have a guy like Pinto on their matchup game and they can allow Greg to be center or wing and I'll have that added pressure. So give me your thoughts, guys, but I think Kubelik's the odd one out. I think it's changed very quickly here, but I think that's the case right now. I think they could trade Branstrom, but I mean Zub, I think, was injured and I think uh, Bernard Docker back back in the line. I, I just feel like Branstrom stays. I feel like they still see some potential in Branstrom. Maybe they move Branstrom. Maybe they move both Branstrom and Kublik. I don't know. But I think Matthew Joseph has solidified himself on this roster uh, because it's crazy how things have changed where it's like they were maybe attaching like a second round pick to Matthew Joseph just to get rid of him. And now he's got four points through the first five games of the season. So let me know. Subscribe, like, com comment, all that good stuff. Give me your thoughts on who you think the sense will trade. I'll keep you guys updated on the latest news. But as of right now, I think Kublik's the one to get moved. Peace.